welcome! In this video, we'll have a look at GX Mini's key features, basic setup and the part 2 feature. Let's start with a quick overview. GX Mini has 25 mini keys with velocity, including a choice of different velocity curves. A foot switch connector for a sustained pedal, a joystick for pitch band and modulation, octave buttons to shift the keyboard up or down, a Nectar's unique part 2 feature for momentary note transpose, layering and more. A nice performance feature that can also expand your range while playing. GX Mini's transport buttons give you instant access to door control functions if you install Nectar door integration. This will improve your workflow by letting you change tracks, open door and plugin windows, undo your last edit, set locators on the fly and more. You can also use them as MIDI buttons if Nectar door integration isn't present by assigning MIDI program changes or MIDI CCs or for MIDI machine control. The joystick up and down movements and the foot switch are reassignable to any other MIDI CC as well. This concludes our brief overview, let's move on to basic setup. To use GX Mini as a universal MIDI controller on Mac OS or Windows based computers, simply plug the supplied USB cable into your computer and the other end into GX Mini. The controller is powered from USB and now turns on automatically. You won't need to install any drivers as GX Mini is USB class compliant. The controller uses the operating system's built-in drivers and works right away with any MIDI music software. Now run your music software and check that the GX Mini MIDI ports are visible and active. How to do this, you will find in your music software's documentation. That's it, you're ready for your first session. How to set up Nectar DAW integration is covered in the documentation included with your software download. Let's check out the Part 2 feature now. In the default setting, Part 2 adds a layered note two octaves above or below the played note while you press one of the buttons. But there's more options. You'll find them printed right above the keys here. Options include octave, MIDI channel, transpose and layer. For example, if you'd like to use Part 2 to just expand the playing range, you can deactivate layer by pressing setup and then the key labeled layer. As this is an on off function, the change is immediate. Now let's add a transpose of five semitones by pressing setup, the key labeled with transpose, and then set the interval by pressing the black key labeled with five. Now confirm with enter. The resulting shift is two octaves and five semitones. Let's bring back layer by switching it on again. I think this would sound better with just one octave shift. So I'll press setup, octave, press the black key labeled one and confirm with enter. Part two is really easy to set up and use. All of the options can be combined, so you could also switch to a different MIDI channel or even layer a sound playing on a different MIDI channel at the same time. If your DAW doesn't support Nectar DAW integration, you can still use the transport buttons to remote control it. First activate MIDI machine control in your DAW. How to do this will be covered in your DAWs manual. Then press Setup, the center C key labeled USB port mode, the black key labeled 3 and enter. Now the DAWs stop, play, record and fast forward and rewind functions are remote controlled from GX Mini. But if your DAW is supported by Nectar DAW integration, we suggest you install it as it will give you a lot more control over your software. Lastly, let me show you how to do a factory reset. This comes in handy if you've made a lot of settings in your GX Mini and it no longer works in the way you'd like it to. For this, simply unplug the GX Mini, hold the octave up and down buttons and then plug the cable back in again while you keep holding the buttons. Now GX Mini is restored back to its original factory settings. We hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.